just like old times. Hello, and you can say 990k no brainer. Welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. Convergence is finally, finally out. And I want to actually play it now. You know, I promised myself that I was going to take a break for ATG. Um, some of you might not know that, but yes, I took a break for Across the Galaxy. I uh, wasn't a fan of the metagame, although apparently it cleared up a lot better uh, as we got later on into it. But, you know, uh, so I wanted to do Convergence. But then on the day that Convergence finally released, oh, I had to spend a week in Spain on a business trip. So there we go. But I am back now and I am up against Sergeant Dalek. Dalek, I should say. Who... Interestingly enough, uh, is playing with the old stuff instead of uh, the Super Destiny stuff. But, you know, I think everything still works, so uh, here's hoping. I am playing Yoda. Enfys as my first deck to show you guys. Enfys um, is a very interesting character. He uh, he can resolve three... He can resolve up to three of his uh, cost dice for free. And that makes it very interesting with Yoda, because with Yoda, one of the cool things you can do is go um, resource into resource into turn to resource. And if you have two resources, you can then resolve that on the next turn for four free resources. And then you've got six extra resources. So eight resources in total on turn one, which is a pretty insane, um, which is a pretty insane uh, level of ramp right there. So that is the plan. Uh, okay, Scruffy Luffy Nerf Herder is useful here. Uh, impulsive drop in, don't care about. So this is a deck with um, some very expensive stuff. And another thing about Enfys is that he allows you to include up to two villain cards. Um, so I have a Force Storm. Because Yoda is a Sith Lord, real secretly, as we all know. Uh, the other card I have is a Vader's Fist. I'm not sure which one I would rather use. Whether I'd rather use uh, Force Storm or Vader's Fist. So I've got one of each at the moment. Um, and I just rolled a 7 to his 8. So, uh, there we go. He, get, he gets to choose. Uh, you'd think this is a pretty good, uh, deck for actually, you know, having, uh, the battlefield. But I, I don't always get that. Now, Thede's, okay. I was gonna say Thede's Palace, uh, which is the, uh, Thede's Royal Palace, which is the battlefield that I would be using, was recently eroded, thankfully. Um, so, he's going to do two damage here, that's fine, uh, because I would like to give a shield to each of them. Uh, really, I should be choosing whether they get shields first, so I'm giving a shield each simply because I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, G, L, oh, Jeff. Uh, right, okay, so, uh, he gets to start, obviously. Now, it has been a long time since I've played Star Wars Destiny, so hopefully this deck works out properly. Uh, plus two melee and a plus two on the shield. After he activates the Jedi, he can resolve a character or create dice of his choice, so he can roll in Obi and then activate Ahsoka. Right, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, Way of the Light's not going to be very useful here to remove a non-hero die, considering he's got heroes. Um, so, I think... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Event, and I just want to see if he has... Any removal, or what type of removal he has, because he, he rolled out immediately, so that implies to me that he doesn't have. He, he might be looking for a res. He might be looking for a resource instead of uh, having an upgrade. So yeah, Mace Windu's lightsaber there is his resource. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to remove the hold off there. Remove a die showing melee damage. Um, and considering my dice are melee, are technically melee damage, that is important to me. Um, uh, but I know he hasn't got anything to stop me, so I can easily go for, like, my, my massive, massive ramp skills here. Um, and because of course envies, I have stuff like easy pickings, very, very powerful yellow mitigation still. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this set of, uh, to this rotation. I'm hoping that it's good. Oh, there we go. So, uh, uh, he gets to, he gets to use Ahsoka to, he's gonna resolve the two shields, perfect. All right, and this means I can easy pickings the uh, the melee the melee dice away. Ha ha! It has already begun. Now he can't actually swap, um, do the shield separately, but whatever. I don't care. Uh. Uh, if he does that again, I will say something. Yeah, so, uh, the plan here is that I'm going to do one to two videos a week, uh, almost certainly just going to be one, but I'd like to say one to two in the hopes I can get more than that. Uh, custom resource due, alright, so FEs is now on to eight, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just roll out Yoda. And I get a special, good. Okay, I need two specials, but I got a special, and also I can go to the double focus and then return these. He doesn't have anything against me, right, that's, that's the thing right now. Okay. 
He's gonna reroll, try try some damage. Because that's the interesting thing, right? He's gonna try and do some damage and kill me first. Uh, but this deck also puts out a lot of damage, so I might be able to even kill Ahsoka pretty quickly in this game. But, but the first turn, I'm just gonna do some ramp. The claim is to get a resource, though. Uh, that's not very good. The claim is get a resource, so maybe it is worth... Because I can go... Hmm. Well, no, considering how little he has left to do in his turn, it's probably almost impossible for me to actually claim him before him. Let's probably just do what I can do. Uh, I'm going to discard this way of the light. I do not need it, and again, if I'm not claiming, I have all the time in the world to do whatever I want. It's not like he's going to stop me. And uh, I still end up with nothing. I'm looking for either a special or the double focus here. And I'm perfectly willing to throw away Beguile. Beguile is a nice card. Bit expensive, but nice. But I have a really good mitigation suite in this deck as is. Um, so I can throw away Beguile. And there we go. I got a resource side here, which is perfectly fine. Because I'm going to end this turn with six resources. Play four storm. Alright. So special to that and get, and get a resource. This to that and get a resource. Then power action on Emphys to get four resources. And then with those resources, I play a four storm. There we go. Boom, Yoda. He is a Sith Lord already. Four storm, really cool card. I hope it gets used more because I, ho I hope I get more of a chance to use it, I should say. Uh, because I really like it. Um, so, the special is uh, place a resource on the upgrade. Deal damage equals number of resources on the upgrade. And re-roll this die instead of removing it. It is Black One. And I loved Black One. But it also has two, three, two range sides and an indirect side. You know, and they're really, really good. So, yeah. Uh, indifferent. Fuck neutral, remove die. Struffy again to remove... Events again. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Event again. Uh, okay. Uh, none of those are good, so get rid of conflicted. There we go. Alright, so. If I if I'm just if I'm just allowed to do whatever I want, Yoda's specials can be turned into damage very very easily, and this thing can suddenly ramp um, massively. All right, he's, but he's gonna be taking shields, a lot a lot of shields. So go ahead, I will uh, play the Ezra's lightsaber here. Two, oh yep, gotta 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 put the comma in there. There we go. And now Hide Muscle is interesting. It is very powerful uh, in its die size. It's got that 3 for 1 melee side, especially, which is insane. But of course, everything costs one, except if with Envies, these are scoundrels. So, uh, Envies can resolve up to three scoundrels' dice, showing the same sort of three th for free. So, if they're all of them are three melee, he gets to resolve it. Um, for He gets to resolve it for free, so that's nine, nine melee. Very cheaply, which is nice. Now, looking at what he's got, he hasn't got much of anything yet, so I can... Uh, Gladly just do some rolling in. Uh, I guess the range on the Ezra's and the three melee there. Now, of course, hide muscle. Uh, I kind of need to hit that three melee side, so so Yoda's uh, focuses work very well there. But of course, I'm using four storm with Yoda instead, so I don't care about the focuses. Okay, I will uh, roll in Yoda. Oh, double Yoda special. Well, this is going to be painful for him. It's just one of those situations now where I think to myself, do I want to um, try and really put up the hurt? Put up the pain? Okay, so you can turn dice to melee sides here. 5-7, uh, and considering Emphys, hmm, Emphys will be fine. So it's just a case of whether I want to use high muscle or not. Uh, I think either way, Ezra's... Considering I, he doesn't really have anything, I'm okay with uh, tossing away this impulsive for a reroll, just see what I could get. Uh, do I want to... Do I want to remove the three... Hmm. 
Well, he... Hmm. Let's discard the impulsive for now. My only worry there, you see, is that... Um... Uh, three melee there then. Uh, my only worry there is that with Impulsive I could have discarded Impulsive to re-roll uh, the Hide Muscle to get the resource for it, but it's fine. Okay, cool. Plus three. And is that what he's doing? Surprisingly, just doesn't he doesn't really have the ability to use uh, Obi-Wan's power action. Just the one then. Alright. Uh, so yeah, indifferent to remove that die. Just do a little bit of mitigation because why not, you know? Alright, two melee. Alright, so Emphys now has eight health because of wounded. But now I can uh, really start putting out the damage. So... Let's do this. Let's turn to the special and get a resource. And then let's resolve the special on Ahsoka. Now, I probably should be doing it onto base because, um, because he doesn't have redeploy. But I'll do it on Ahsoka because she has the, uh, because she has the, um, Because she's, she's going to die, is what I'm saying here. What I'm trying to say here, because I can play Hide Muscle for one now. Uh, there we go. Or if I resolve the indirect and you put all four into Obi, he would die. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should resolve the indirect for, well, hmm. Well, let's, uh, just... Let's just kill Ahsoka. Uh, it's probably better for me to actually have not killed Ahsoka. Um... Probably better for me to just tucked it all into Obi-Wan instead, because Obi-Wan would be dying near the start of next round. Or, alternatively, I could have, uh, started really stacking up my Force Storm instead, because, I mean, at the end of the day, the Hive Muscle was only one more damage. Uh, so, yeah. Which I oh I already had that from Ezra's lightsaber. Yeah, look, I'm I'm really really out of practice, guys. Well, there we go. All right, and finally, just draw my last set because of course Force Wave, Vader's fist. Yeah, obviously, I don't want to use Force Wave all of it right now. Or well, way of the lights worthless to me here. Indifference works. Risky move works. Cool. Gets a shield and a hit point. Uh, right, okay, so uh, I think I just start killing him. Basically nothing he can do. <laughs> Three and a two, there we go, that's five melee. Then the special is another two damage. Like if he's not mitigating my die, he's just dead. Like, he can do 8 to kill. He can do more than 8 to actually kill Emphys, but like, he needs to... What does he need to do to actually kill Emphys? Let's just resolve this special for now. Is there anything in a blue that would allow him to kill me? No. Not really. I mean, he could he could roll out the damage, right, and kill me with the damage. But I always have the, turn, the single turn to resolve this 5 melee just in case. And he's got 12 health, so... That's not a lot, so let's uh, indifferent that. Now he can't kill me. With anything. So now I can now I can just in in peace just just kill him because this is two and three damage from the Yoda specials. Well, like just there. Uh, so how much has he got? So twelve. Oh, he can get rid of one of those. Cool. Hmm. 
Well, this is... If Yoda does a... Ah, oh, that 3 is supposed to have a resource cost on it. The special is deal 2, yeah. Alright, so if I just do... 5... Look, how much has he got? 12, so... 10, 8, so if I do 5 and then 4, he's just dead, so let's just... Let's just start doing that. Well, let's, let's just break the charade here. Cool. Alright, a nice, nice, easy first win for the very, very first game of this I have played. That felt good, that felt good. Let's, uh, let's, let's find someone else. All right, here we go then. Game number two up against a guy named Drell. Uh, let's let's see how well this goes. I've played against Drell before, if I recall. Can't remember off the top of my head though. It's been so long since I was really in the TTS community. I'll be honest. This and uh, there's a bit of lag going on right now. No problem. Yeah, I'm sure he's just loading his deck or something. That's why it's taking forever. Yeah, that is loading my deck. One of the two. Alright, so the way we have to work in Super Destiny is, uh, that's, that's, uh, something. I don't, I don't know what that is. What? Oh, that's part of my deck. That's what's going on there. That's why there's only 29 cards. Come on, Games like You know how maths work. So, uh, in order to make Super Destiny work, you've kind of just got to overlay characters on top of each other. Um, like that. And that's how that works. So let's, let's now grab... Emphesis die. Let's play a bit of rivalry up here. All right, there we go. And he is playing Jabba Palpatine. I've actually seen this on the uh, Star Wars Destiny DB. Okay. Uh, the idea is Palpatine gets a ton of ability dice, and then he, the, some of those dice have uh, specials, which are really, really good for uh, Jabba's ability of dealing indirect. Uh, now. That's kind of scary because this deck, um, the big weakness of this deck is that it only starts with 20 health. Because of Bitter Rivalry, he take 2 damage at the start. So this 22 health is actually 20 health, uh, which is a problem. Okay, so I, my starting hand has easy pickings, which is really good for specials, so I can keep one of those. Uh, the rest of the hand, though, um, I don't particularly care about, like, Scruffy is, uh, maybe. I could do 9 instantly on the Hired Muscle, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'll keep the Scruffy, sure, why not? I mean, what else am I looking for here? Let me get rid of that. What else am I actually looking for in this deck? Um, something like a Force Storm or a Force Wave or something. Oops, that was three cards. Let me let me put the last card back, whoops. Alright, uh, so uh, Effie's Nest. That's actually pretty good, Effie's Nest. Uh, because that allows me to remove a character die, which, you know, um, will be a problem. Uh, because he's going to have character dice that do indirect damage. That's the theory anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, and he starts with the activate two characters that share a subtype. They're both- ah, they're both leaders, right, okay, yeah. I do not- Yoda's not a leader, he's just a guy in a cave, you know. Uh, so yeah, I am ready to do a rollout. And honestly, uh, do I even- do I want the shields? That's a good question. Taking my battlefield would give me the ability to, ha to roll in the hired muscle and then, um, resolve the resource. And then remove the, it for resources. But I just rolled a 3 and he rolled a 2. Wow, I won. Uh, hmm. Okay, I could roll out Hired Muscle. Then take the money back for it. Go into some serious ramping. Or I could just, you know, try and win the game. Because I can do up to 12 at the start. Uh, let's take my Battlefield, though. I've got, I've got a drop-in which requires me to win the Battlefield roll-off anyway. So... There we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, uh, so, because I get to start, let me... Uh, do I start with Cruffy and call Upgrade or call Event? Um, let's actually call it Upgrade. Let's call Upgrade. Let's call Upgrade, because he's probably got Upgrades being, uh, you know, that is a Palpatine deck. With, um, you know... Palpatine, so I should probably say, so Palpatine, he's a cool guy and that he needs uh, abilities to work. 
So let me just get rid of some of those abilities. Let's get rid of uh, bartering right now. So he does not have anything that can... Uh, well, he has something that gets rid of an odd number. So both my these two are evens, but the hide muscle is an odd number. Uh, but by getting rid of bartering, I am severely re lowering his resource generation, early resource generation. That's the theory anyway. And I'll let him, I'll let him force jump, right? I don't, oh, there's the die for it, okay. You know, I'm, I'm gonna let him play force jump. Because I don't mind. Uh, so now, I can just roll out Yoda. There's a special. Cool. My question is, what do I want to do? Because, okay, he's removing the other die. Because I could... Do I try and get the Emphy's Nest out this turn, is the question. Or do I just take the Hive Muscle and then try to do some damage? Because I know he doesn't have any... Well, he has Force Jump, but... He's all, he's got 11 health. I could potentially just kill that. Oh, right, yeah. Bit of rivalry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and shields as well. No, not a great start from us. Okay, so I could potentially just kill off Palpatine is the idea here. Um, so yeah, let's play this hide muscle for one. Get rid of the resource. Because depending on what I end up rolling here, I can get the money back with uh, the these royal palace. Because so, okay, he's gonna just roll out the force jump on its own. Cool. Now, force jump turns to blanks. Hide muscle does not have a blank, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, these royal palace now requires me to remove a dice in order to gain a resource. Which is still fair. There's resource, okay, cool. So he has a power of one at the moment, which is uh, worthless. Take the two resources and play Emphy's Nest if I want to, but I think it's better to not do that. Now, I could uh, easy pickings those dice, but they're, they're worthless to pick. So, not going to. Do I discard the Emphy's Nest for a reroll then? I think I do. It's a good die, but yeah, I'm discarding it. And that landed. Weirdly, so. Ah, great, double blanks. Two blanks and a shield, so I'm not doing well here. At the moment. If I ever hit a melee, he can always force. Um. Ah, uh, great. I, I need one of these dice to give me something. A three melee, that gives me something. Of course, he can blank it. I discard the easy pickings for another reroll. I don't. Easy pickings are so important here. Well, let's turn to the two resources and take your money. I can shoot more, take shield. Uh, let's 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 do power action to take two more resources. It's not, not a great use of MPs early, but 
So we go. I took resources. <laughs> I can only. I, they have to be showing the same symbol, so I can't just resolve the two ranged. Now, so with the two focus side, he can definitely do three indirect if he wants, and three indirect is not a low amount by any stretch. He's gonna discard me though. Discards the easy pickings, that's fine. It it forced a discard. I'm okay with that. Let's take the shield. And then what? Is he going to focus to the shield and the resource side, or is he going to actually do one damage? Sorry, two damage. Okay, he's going to try and do two damage. All right, so let's uh, let's steed, take the resource, and then claim. See, even with how that went, I still end up this turn with four resources available. I do two damage to Yoda. He, uh... Okay. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that, but okay. So I have six resources here. Let's let's draw something big. Vader's Fist. That's big. And we're playing on my battlefield so I can drop in and stuff if I want to. Alright, good start. Good start. Uh, so yeah, I will just begin by rolling in Effie's. A single melee. Now this uh, drop in and this instigate these ambush cards. You know they're not very useful when I don't have any upgrades on Yoda, but uh, so so it shall happen. You know malice try and threaten something. I don't know. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna have to play Vader's fist now just in case it gets discarded. So let's uh, let's Vader's fist here for five, uh, which then allows me as part of playing it, I get to roll it in, and it's the hits the three disrupt. So that that's actually kind of threatening to him. Because he's got two resources. <sighs> Fader's Fist is just so insane resource wise. You can do like nine damage and still get a. And, and you can do nine damage with this thing uh, on the turn you play it. That's, that's just so insane uh, economy wise. Alright, let's roll in Yoda. Now, he doesn't have any uh, Soretsu Masteries, so unless he's got it in his hand, he can't. So, yep, yeah, let's discard a card at random, and he gets my other easy pickings. That really sucks. That really, really sucks, because that was very important to me. Okay, well. Another three, three disrupt there. No, not useful. And this Palpatine now is 13 uh, health. And there's Soradetsu Mastery, so he's got four shields potentially here. He's uh, tanking up heavily. And that worries me. So let's uh, discard to reroll, get rid of uh, all of these bad sides. But I'll keep the one melee. One melee is decent. Alright, alright, I'm okay with that. The one indirect, I the four indirect I can resolve. The special I can t flip to the three melee. I can do seven melee, four indirect. That seems a pretty good start. Thing is, you just can't beat Fader's Vist in terms of resource. Okay, cool. I'll lose the resource. I will take... I will flip to the three and take my resource back now. And then I'll be able to resolve for seven. <laughs> and also do the four indirect. Then I can roll this thing out two more times. Okay, hit a motive. What's he going to call? Calling. I, assume, I assumed it, but I had to say it anyway. Okay. 
Alright then, well, I will resolve four indirect. How, how does he want to distribute this? Okay, so 13 health versus 10 health. I can always result, remove this one melee for a resource if I have to. And I might do that. Okay, double focus so he can go to start doing three indirects at me. If he wants to. Because that can go to a special and that can go to a special. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's roll out Vader's fist now. So four for one again. I mean, if I just keep resolving this, I will win eventually. It's expensive, though, to be doing this all the time. Oh, yeah, I forgot dropping allows me to activate support as well. I guess I'm not getting out that other hired muscle then, even though it's pretty good with the dull focus on Yoda. Or I could take the resource, roll in hired muscle, try for the three melee, and swap to the three range side with that focus. Okay, um... Or I could remove the Yoda die for the resource and for all in the high... No. Okay, um, so... Let's do this to get the resource and then I will play hired muscle with it. The second high muscle with it for that resource. Now none of these dice, none of these other three dice have blank sides, so he can't force jump them. Oh yeah, I should probably be getting rid of the. How do I get rid of the hood? There we go. I forgot I can get rid of the hood. All right, so focus. He's going to focus to the resource side. And the special side, although he can't. Yeah, okay. Um, I have no blanks, so he can't do what he wants to do with that. Three for one indirect. Unfortunately, uh, Vader's Fist is not a scoundrel dice, so I can't resolve both of those. Okay, with two resources, he could definitely do uh, some uh, removals. So here's hoping I haven't uh, ruined my... Um, like if he plays Beguile here, that would be annoying. Here's hoping I haven't ruined my chance uh, by being really, really greedy, which, uh, you know, I think I did. Oh, he claims. Okay, cool. Well, I will uh, use Emphys to do six to uh, this Palpatine. I should have resolved. Um, then I shall do this so that he goes to 12. Then I shall go ahead and use the Vader Fist's power action, which allows me to roll the die in one more time for the three indirect, for three disrupt. Oh, yeah, I'll resolve three disrupt to get rid of his resources. All right. Very, very nice, powerful ramp here. Very powerful ramp. Draw four, and um, with dropping, I might be able to snipe that Palpatine immediately. Oh, along with him, Instigate. Oh uh, yeah, I've got Beguile and Channel the Force here, so so long as uh, all of my characters are still alive, Channel the Force is like a better Beguile. Uh, so I've got very, very powerful mitigations, because why is Channel the Force better than Beguile? Because I can choose either player's dice. Beguile is opponent's dice only. Whereas this is anyone's dice, so I can uh, turn one of my dice to any side, for example. Alright, he's going to play back to therapy to heal. That's fine. I will start with a Yoda rollout. Unfortunately, um, that means I can't do like um, an instigate into impulsive play for the kill. But I can do... Um, now I can. Actually. So I can do instigate to roll out MVs, then I can do impulsive on the double focus, and then I can kill.
So yeah, that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do instigate to roll an emphys. Oh. I, uh, I don't need to do, do an impulsive. I can just kill him. And he surrenders. <laughs> okay. Uh... So yeah, um, that's how you outramp your opponent very quickly. Uh, getting rid of that early bartering was essential, I think, to being able to outramp him because bartering is a card with three resource sides. Um, and I just played too many cards and he died. Uh, especially with Vader's Fist being one of the best. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, because yeah, Jesus Christ, being ill, just having the potential to do 12 damage, pay two resources on higher, to summon, play two hired muscles. There we go, I've got the potential to do 12 damage on that turn. That's just insane. Um, even though the characters themselves seem to only provide up to six. Uh, you see, Thede's Royal Palace, uh, it's... I can still use this. It was definitely one of the most pow powerful... It's, it definitely needed nerfing. I will say that. That was one of the worst things ever. The fact that that thing existed. Uh, made all of the battlefields obsolete because it's the only way to win the roll-off and get a resource. Now, I still want to win the roll-off and get the resource, but at least I can also use it effectively because I've got hired muscles and that sort of stuff. Like, being able to get take a resource even when one of your dice isn't cooperating very well can still, you know... It can help out with the curve, but there might be better battlefields. There will definitely be, I would hope, better battlefields later on to, to do this, but Thieves is fine for now. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been me, Gameslay99, aka No Brainer. Damn it, I, I messed that up, guys. It's been, it's been too long. This has been me, Gameslay99, aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching. Signing off. Uh, press the stop record button. Look, okay, guys, I. I got a new monitor, so now I have two monitors, and I've got the recording suite set up on the other monitor. It's fantastic, except for the fact that I didn't realize my mouse was on the other side of the screen. So there we go, it's me, Gibson, 99 aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching. Third time's the charm. Signing out.